Okay, everybody, we're celebrating. Um, I made myself some banana coffee kind of ice cream thing, and we're celebrating 50 subscribers. Um, 50 subscribers was the most amount of subscribers I thought I would ever have, so I'm pretty much at the pinnacle. Um, it's funny, when I started this channel, um, uh, Paxiano Dirt Frog encouraged me to start this channel, and I thought, oh, this will be a cool way to document me uh, putting together this market garden and stuff and things like that. But what I didn't really think was that when I'm out and it's dark and it's rainy and it's crappy and I'm unloading seaweed into a wheelbarrow and taking it out to the garden and doing all these different kind of tasks that aren't that easy or fun, I always kind of feel like I have my peeps along with me because I know that people are gonna be watching. So anyway, thank you for watching. It's almost 6.30 again. I, uh, Tyler and I went out to get some seaweed and I'm gonna put it on the rest of the beds out here. Okay, so it's really too dark to see anything. Can you guys even see the truck? Yeah, that's the truck full of seaweed. Oh, I guess you guys are just going to have to miss out on this exciting experience of me digging seaweed out of the truck. I felt kind of bad that you guys were going to miss out on this entirely. So I'm going to give you the headlamp version. I'm trying to stab the tarp with the pitchfork. raining. Can you guys see deer? He's all like, whatever, it's raining. We're just going to camp out here. Okay, so I got more seaweed out there last night. Yuck, it's raining. I'm going to um, get out, cabin fever, go to the grocery store. Hey, it's just a little bit stormy out. We don't have a lot of options in this small town. So when I found a non-dairy Ben and Jerry's, I was like, yes, I'm getting this. And I was like, you know what? I've got 49 subscribers. When I get 50 subscribers, I am gonna eat this whole tub of ice cream. I ran out of tea bags. So I put a coffee, a coffee filter in a cup, crunchy. I decided to do some inside chores and one of those is shredding cardboard, which I use along with food scraps to make compost. At the same time, I decided to catch up on some YouTube channels that I like to watch. You know, like, if people like your stuff, they're probably going to subscribe to you. If, if they've got something to say, they might comment on it anyway. You don't need to tell people to do that. Uh, they're probably going to give you a thumbs down if they don't like it. But fuck it. Let's see what happens. So subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Then I looked at my channel and I was like, boom, 50 subscribers, celebration. Um, but the thing is, I've been 140 pounds for a long time. I'm five foot three, so it's a little bit heavy for me. I've been kind of chubby and I've been trying to get rid of it for years and years. So I've been trying to eat just kind of whole foods for the most part. I got on the scale, I think it was that morning and I was uh, uh, down to below 133 pounds. So I'm like, oh my God, do I really want to eat this whole thing of Ben and Jerry's ice cream? So you remember last year how um, I was going to decommission these composting bins um, because I was going to use the new big ones? Well, the new big ones, I can't get water into them very easily. They have a roof and it's a pain in the butt to get water into along with the other material in there. So 
I ended up just going ahead and using these still. So uh, I had all that material piled up over there and I thought, oh, what a dumbass, right? Um, but what I ended up doing was I'd bring my kitchen scraps out here and um, I used that material. I would just kind of pitchfork it or shovel it over the top. And um, so that's what I've been doing. So I've got all this new shredded cardboard and this pallet right here is nailed in, so I'm not going to even bother with it. I'm just going to throw this in here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up because it's been raining a lot. Oy. It's just amazing how much that just composts down, even though I keep adding a lot of material to it every, every few weeks. Okay, let's wander around and go look for mushrooms. Doo -doo -doo. This old, well actually these are the newer set of bins that I made. And I've got compost in here that I gotta dig out. Anyways, let's go looking around. Skunk cabbage is all dying. Here's a super rotten mushroom with an invasive slug. Okay, I'm not seeing much mushroom business going on out here. These look like you probably wouldn't want to eat them, right? <laughs> Last year, later in the season, I found a bunch of what looked like yellow foot or winter chanterelles. Maybe some Alaska people could let me know when I'm supposed to be looking for mushrooms. So after my failed mushroom hunt, I decided to go in and make some banana ice cream. I wanted it to be coffee flavored, so I made this Ticino fake coffee stuff. And yeah, I do have a ceramic filter holder, but I just, I wanted the stuff to steep for a lot longer, so that's why I did it like this. Um, <laughs> I hope that this channel doesn't become a cooking show because that would be a disaster. I poured the coffee substitute into my Nutribullet cup and then I added this almond butter that is just the most amazing stuff ever. It's horribly expensive but it's like pure cocaine. And then I put two tablespoons of that in with the coffee and then I added a banana. But then I realized that that half cup of coffee liquid was way too much so I had to pour some out and then I added another banana. Then I put in a quarter teaspoon each of cinnamon and nutmeg, which I realized later was way too much. I tried to blend it up in my Nutribullet and I realized that the cup had the tabs broken off so it didn't work so I had to use another cup. It was a bigger cup so I added one more banana to it to make it thicker. Mm, pretty nutmeggy. I added another spoonful of almond butter into it just so there'd be like almond butter chunks in there and then I put a lid on and I put it in the freezer. Okay, so I'm down at the composting bins and uh, it's starting to rain again. So in this new set of composting bins, it was this second bin here that I was putting my food scrap waste into, but because there's a roof and uh, it doesn't get water and I didn't want to bother trying to get water in here, it just hasn't really been doing much in the way of composting. In fact, I grew a kind of nice little set of russet potatoes in there this uh, year. So I gotta figure out where I want um, some bins that I can, you know, dump food scraps into. At the far end over there, I've been uh, dumping all my garden waste because I've had you know mildewy issues and all sorts of stuff that I didn't want to you know I didn't I didn't want to compost and then like put it back out in the garden and might have problems with it so yeah so I've been um, throwing the stuff into this corner of the garden looking back at the compost bins there Let's 
try this thing. It's cold. I might have gone a little heavy on the nutmeg. Um, it could taste more coffee. -y 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 -y. I have more of a coffee flavor. That would be good. Um, did I say it's not um, as creamy as ice cream? Um, it's kind of more like a sorbet texture, but um, it's a pretty good treat. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe! Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.